How's it going guys? Joxel here with another video. Um, I'm here with my buddy Matt again from San Francisco. He's another developer. Thanks for joining me, Matt. Hey, thanks so much. Today we just wanted to talk a little bit with Matt about his experience getting into the web tech industry. Um, he's had a background of both college and a coding boot camp and I think it'd be a really valuable experience for us to be able to talk about his thoughts on the, t on the two, comparing the and contrasting like the different experiences and whether or not it's actually worth it. So thanks again, Matt, for joining me. I just want to jump right into it, man. Tell me, you said you went to college for a couple of years before actually taking the boot camp. What was college like? Like, how did you uh, enjoy it? Like, what made you, what fueled your decision for what you started studying? Yeah, so pretty much I'd come in wanting to do CS, and the first class I took um, was really, really challenging. We started with recursion. I ended up telling myself I couldn't do it, and then switched majors right after I failed that class. So that was the first semester. And then um, I chose industrial engineering because it was more like people oriented and I loved working with people and doing like project management. So I jumped into that and then ended up realizing I really didn't like it two or three years in. Um, and then I had a handful of different internships which kind of solidified like the fact that I really didn't want to do this. So I got out of college and took a job for a few months and uh, still industrial engineering oriented and I was like, nope. This isn't happening. It's like <laughs> I tried all these different jobs in all these different industries and like the work was just so boring. And I had this one really bad internship my sophomore year. Um, I took it in a semester off to go do it. And it was one of those like classic stories. Like basically like I, I walked in and um, somebody, you know, told me that I was going to be fucked at this internship. Like I was like, <laughs> I can't believe it was a, it was a, it was like a factory. So there were a lot of like shop floor <laughs> workers and then like really hostile management. Oh, man. And, like it was just so there were you know so many inappropriate things that were said and really bad work um they made me go get like coffee and donuts like occasionally i was oh, like wow. oh my god and like i i literally just like wasn't learning yeah. at this job and i couldn't like listen to music um there was one day that my boss came over to another um engineer and he was like super mad at the guy and he just like grabbed a shelf like a like shelf of papers that were on the guy's desk and just like threw it off and started screaming at the engineer what? and i was like this is not okay this is not how the working world should be so that like <laughs> That like pretty much like scarred me and like really yeah, like, me out. <laughs> so I guess like I had like pretty bad like career depression. I guess for the rest of college and a little bit after college. Um, so I guess like uh, yeah, I packed up and went out west after I had put that job. I sold pretty much all my childhood possessions on eBay. Um, saved up enough money from that to be able to go out west and at least live for a little bit. So I um, couch surfed a lot, did like a road trip out west, uh, landed in Vegas at a friend's place, and stayed there for a few months while I figured out what to do next. And I stumbled upon um, like coding bootcamp options, and that's what ended up leading me into this whole thing. Um, and it was definitely a challenge for sure, but I think ultimately it was for the better. And looking back, it was completely worth it, even though like I was super scared, super stressed, um, totally out of my comfort zone the whole time. No clue if this gamble would even pay off, but it did and it's possible. And I think the biggest takeaway was like, you know, if you have grit and persistence, you can completely do this. I believe it, man. Wow, that's awesome. So uh, as somebody who's done a little bit of college and then took the coding boot camp, how would you compare your experiences when it came to learning in both environments? I would say that the coding boot camp experience was unique because you basically dedicate your life to one thing for at minimum three months. Right. And that's something I'd never really done before. I feel like, you know, college, you're taking all these different classes and like high school and you're like dabbling in all these different areas and your outside interests. And I feel like for, for me to like take off all this time just to focus on one thing, it really showed me like how much you can achieve in one time if you just stay focused. Mm -hmm. And that was one thing that kind of like blew my mind. It's like, wow, is, is it really possible to like change careers in three to six months? And it totally is. And it's because like if you were to do this in tandem with something else and you know have your time split it's you're going to do it in half in like two times the amount of time right it's going to take yeah. you twice the amount of time so to be able to choose something to focus i think was an amazing thing um from the boot camps perspective and from the college perspective i think um yeah the classes might matter and you know the gpa might matter a bit but i think the biggest takeaway for me from college was more of the social experience and working in groups and a bit more of like the soft skills i think um industrial engineering at least for me wasn't as technical yeah we used math and um like a few other i don't know sciences but really not as much as like mechanical engineering or anything more specialized yeah so that was more based on group projects and i think i was able to take a lot of soft skills from that and use that in the coding boot camp as well as the tech industry, which is really, really cool. And I think that's something like, 
If you were to do traditional computer science, I think a lot of colleges don't have project-based programs where you're, you know, very focused individually and you're more of like an individual contributor. And I feel like, I feel like for me, I tried to at least take the good parts of college, even though I really didn't like college, but I tried to take the soft skills part and really blend it with the technical part that I gained after college. Okay, that makes sense. And I totally understand that. I think that's really valuable. So as somebody who did take the boot camp and like now that you've completed both sets, uh, would you say that the boot camp was worth it for you? I would say for me, it definitely was worth it. Um, before I had gone to the boot camp, I I wouldn't have known the curriculum and I probably wouldn't have had the structure to go do it. So it's what I needed at the time to make it to the next step. I would say now looking back, I could have done it without the boot camp if I followed something like free code camp. But I think, you know, I would really have to structure my time really, really well, um, be fully like internally motivated, you know, have everything set up and stay focused on your own. And I think if you do that, it's it would be a lonely experience. Like I think already taking this risk was a pretty lonely experience, but yeah. if you go to a boot camp, you at least have an environment and support and a community. And if you do something um, like free code camp, which I think is great, I think it's totally doable, but you have to use the community. I think if you were to do this on your own and completely you know, go in alone, it's, it's really a lot harder and half the battle, it's all mental. So it's not even that like, is your technical aptitude there? It's more like, are you mentally you know, prepared to be gritty and be persistent and make it through? Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's really important that you said that what you said earlier when it came to like actually focusing on one thing for three months. See, I'm somebody who's really has a lot of hobbies and a lot of interests. You know, I've dabbled in graphic design, photography, videography, you know, arts, web design, all that stuff. Right. And I've always told myself that my issue is that I never stay on one thing for too long. So I can't like get as good as I want to with it. So when I took this, when I ended up taking the boot camp, I also did the full time three month course uh, for the one that I took. And it was really interesting just like like grinding down for such an extended period of time on one subject but I found it really valuable because it really helped me kind of accelerate my process and being uh, able to improve my skills my fundamentals and principal understanding of the subjects that I was learning so I think that's really important but um, wow that's awesome man so I'll tell you what so as somebody who has done both again would you how would you compare or contrast the college experience from the boot camp is that something do you, do you still feel like college is the best route to go for most people or for some people who may be considering other options i think it depends on probably like the stage you are at in life um as well as you know your financial background and you know i think it's really really situational so if you're if you're an 18 year old who's interested in um, computers and software and you know willing to take the next four years of your life to go to college I think it'd probably be worth it. I don't know if it's worth going to a private college for like 60K a year with no scholarship. Like I, I don't think that's worth it. I think, I think you really have to think like debt can completely impact your life in a lot of negative ways, right. especially student debt. And looking at like the issue right now, it's pretty much a crisis in the US. So yeah. that's one thing I think, um, you know, it's really important to take into consideration what debt are you willing to take on and what is going to be the return on investment for your education. If you do study computer science and go to a private college at 60K a year, you'll be able to pay it off, but it will take a lot longer than if you were to do it at a state school after getting scholarship and a few other things. You know, I think it really can make a huge difference, especially because in your 20s, the money that you save can compound over time. And if it compounds in the negative way from debt, then you're gonna be in a lot worse position when you're in your 30s versus if you were to pretty much get out with very little debt, pay that off as soon as possible, and then start saving money. Like, it's a completely different scenario, and debt can completely make or break the rest of your life. I understand that, man, and I appreciate you sharing that with me. Well, Matt, that was really all the questions that I had, man. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to talk to me about your experience and to give me some information and insight into a view of your life and, like, how you got into the web tech industry. Well, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Definitely be sure to check out Matt's channel. He also has a couple other videos um, dealing with interviews with me, as well as some other subjects if you're into looking into software development, the coding boot camp, or other related subjects. Thanks again, Matt, for joining me, man. Awesome. Hey, thanks so much for doing this. Yeah, absolutely. Well, guys, I'll catch you next time.